Hi guys, welcome back to John's Corner and for today, we are going to unbox my third Enter Bay toy. This one will be my first one out of six scale model. You see, this is the big uh, the big version of these two. So this is the Kobe Masterpiece Enter Bay one out of six scale model. We will get to compare the one six scale model versus the one out of nine scale model, which is these two. I'm very excited. Because this is the two pack, the Kobe number eight and the number 24, the one where he still had the afro and the older version of the Kobe. So, this center bay I got from Sir Boogie Colantes. Thank you very much, sir. I think the pre order for this is around 20,000 pesos. You know, it's a pretty hefty price to pay for toys. 20,000, if you think about it, is two toys, so it's probably 10,000 each around that price. Some resellers are probably selling this uh, at a higher price. Sir Boogie Colantes, he gave me a really good discount. 18.5, that's pretty good considering he never displayed it. He just opened the box just to see if everything is complete. That's it. Pretty much this is brand new. And I guess for me, since I'm a out of box collector or OOB, I don't really mind buying toys that are not MISB or sealed. I'm fine with toys that are probably loose or secondhand as long as the toy itself is still in good shape. So guys, enough talking. I'm super excited. Let's open this bad boy up. Wow. Guys, this is so huge that it almost doesn't fit here in my video. So I had to use an extra leverage so I can put up my camera. If you look at the box, this is pretty cool. I love this. This is the facsimile signature of Kobe. It's very elegant and it has like a metallic purple color. The back, you will see Enter Bay, one out of six real masterpiece collectible figure. Let's go ahead and open it. There is a magnet here. That here says Los Angeles Lakers 1996 to 2016. This is the date he retired, and he retired April 13, 2016. And a cool artwork drawing. Pick out the first layer. Oh, so there's two foams. That over the side, and there is the instruction manual. Put that to the side. Wow, awesome. Nice. The uniforms. Number eight. Still sealed here in the plastic and 24. It's not like the one out of nine scale models when you open them. The uniforms are, are already in the toy figure itself. This one, it's separate. Let's put this to the side for now. This is the shirt. Love. Silica gel. Uh, let's start with, I guess, the head. Take out the plastic. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the detail here. This is the young Kobe. He still has the afro here. Man, this is nice. Uh, compare it to the size of the bronze head. There you go. This is the one out of nine scale model, one out of six. There is a huge difference. Now, let's check out the other head. This is the veteran Kobe. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just looking at the sculptures here, the head sculpts, this is super worth the money. The basketball and the shoes. Got the Kobe shoes. Let's start with the young Kobe shoes. Just look at that. Oh, man. Cool, right? I think this, uh, these were still the Adidas. Not sure the model. Is it the Crazy 8s? Nice. And of course, the Kobe's. Ooh, that's nice. Purple. Look at the detail here. Super nice. They really paid a lot of attention to detail on these kinds of toys. So Enter Bay, wow. So this is the most valuable player. All-Star game. And the body. This is huge. One out of nine scale model here. You can see the difference there. Let's take this out. Got the stands here. This is the young Kobe. No tats, nothing. Just clean. He didn't have any tattoos yet when he came to the NBA. He was still a teenager. This is the vet Kobe. And you can see the details here. Nice. His tats. Awesome. And got the silica gel. And you know what? It really feels 
premium you know the foam the presentation everything just feels super premium here are the alternate hands let's just take all all the alternate hands out there are six and here are the stands eight and the 24 nice cool look at that so that's how big it is and this is to hold them up so they won't fall when you stand them up and display them just take everything out Oh, this number 24 what else is in here the foam and that's pretty much it let's just put all the foam back okay stands here you can see eight still silver plating the number 24 is gold you can see some nice differences there let's take out the plastics of the stands i guess we just screw this down here so it's just the clamp it auto clamps keeping it secure this actually you can bend it a bit these are flexible stands for the big ones for the big nrba nba toys the difference here with the one out of nine scale models is that this is just you know acrylic the magnets hold the toy where in this ones these are sturdier you can actually uh, you know like bend this more flexible and this is a like a clip-on auto locks it doesn't use magnet we are going to start with the young kobe let's start taking out the jersey still super crisp i can tell sir boogie never took this out yet these one out of nine scale models they're super nice they're already good for me but seeing this now and i can tell why it's worth spending the extra cash look at that quality the feel it's really nice man now let's dress him up this is probably the easiest way to dress him up Shorts has the NBA logo. Well, let's put this as uh, undergarments first. This is the Barbie for guys. The quality of this is just amazing. Now this is his armbands. So there's the gold and the purple. Socks. So the hands. We have alternate hands here. You can use. Take out the hands. So let's put in the arm sleeves. Now let's. I want to hear it snap. Uh, there. So oh, it's already in. And the shoes. Try these hands. They're still pretty tight. Essentially brand new still. There. There you go. Huge difference, right? So they, they can stand on their own actually, but uh, of course, want them to be stable. Better to use the this. That is awesome. Look at that. Either you can, you can put a trophy here. Depends on you, how you want to display it. You can actually put, put a basketball there as well. Another difference that I did see is, I'm looking at the ball. Can't put any pegs on the ball, not like the Small ones. See the difference? There's a peg and a hole. I don't see any hole here where you can put any pegs. I guess you wanna want him to hold the ball. It's, it's gonna be like this, right? Let's move on to the vet Kobe. I learned from the first one. Let's start with undergarments. Oh cool, look at the socks. So it does have the stance logo there. And on the other side, it's the NBA logo. It's no joke putting these shoes on. I'll tell you that. So I might have made a mistake here. And I did. So there's another hole. That's why it was too loose. It has to be like an L-shaped. Yeah, there. It's more secure now. Now let's put the armbands. I'll put it here on this left arm. And of course, Kobe's head. Grand finale. Mm. Put a hand, which one should we use there? The other hand. These are kind of hard to put in because they're still new. There you go, finally. Got five rings, man. Five rings. So this is the difference of the one, the one nine scale versus the one six scale. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will tell you right now, your 18 to 20,000 or if you buy a scale like this, one six scale of 
NBA, Enter Bay, it's super worth it for me. But again, you have to th think about your budget also. So if you don't have the budget, I still suggest you can still get the small ones. These small Enter Bay are really nice as well. If I'm going to compare these, it is very far. So you get what you pay for, for the big ones. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell on the side so you can get updated every time I post new videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Okay, another thing before we end this video, let's check out the Love T-shirt Beautiful Touch by Enter Bay to add this to the accessories for Mamba Day. Thank you, Enter Bay. I'm still baffled with this. So I took a look at the ball because there is no pegs. So I did find out. I looked at one of the hands. Like this, this hand, for example. I saw this. I opened it up. There is a magnet inside. The ball itself does have a magnet, which is pretty cool. So I won't have to use any more pegs and holes. So I just have to find that spot. And that is the spot. See? So there is also a magnet here in the ball. Easily sticks. Another very cool touch by Enter Bay. So now I can take really nice pictures, great poses for these 1-6 scale models. And I'll show you guys towards the end of this video. Okay guys, let's take a quick look at the articulation for this 1-6 scale model. Start off with the Kobe 24. Look at that detail right there. It's really amazing. The head sculpt is perfect. Really looks like Kobe. Check out the back. Okay. So... Let's start with the articulation, head down. So can't really put his head down, up. So down, not so much. Uh, left and right, all good. Let's look at the torso, look at his tats, the paying attention to detail. You see the young Kobe doesn't have the tats. So let's look at the articulation, spin it, hands, then you can spin it. Since it's new, it's kind of hard to straighten it like this there are some restrictions in this one let's take this out maybe same on the other side as well see it's hard you can do an ab crunch back forward back oh, these enter bay toys you can really articulate them the legs leg curls goes up up to this doesn't have the leg turns here because they don't have the that articulation here like the ones in the marvel legends the shoes down up side the shoes are great they're really intact once you get to put them in just look at the detail on the shoes these are the code Kobe's not familiar with what type of Kobe shoes these are. Stance logo and the NBA logo. So great articulation for these toys. Can't wait to buy a glass cabinet display for these because uh, you don't want them in the open just collecting dirt. It would be ideal to get a glass cab that is dust proof. You can buy accessories for these as well. I think the championship trophies, you can buy those. Also the other stuff. Let's go ahead and check out the young Kobe. Here's the young Kobe. Look at the face sculpt. This Kobe look right here, the head sculpt. They got this from one of his, uh, I think his all-star dunk. That's why he has his mouth open like that. But look at that. He still has the afro and stuff. Let's go ahead, check out his articulation. Look at this. This is his famous Crazy 8 shoes. I think this is the first Adidas Kobe line. This is very famous and I think they still put out retros for this. Even the the details on the threads on the undersole socks here. This one is not stance, just the NBA logo. I really like the jersey as well. I love this feel. Better than the other one, I think, number eight. Plus, you can see there's no tats yet. So this is the very young Kobe, still fresh. I'll take really nice pictures, articulate this, and maybe try to emulate some of the iconic pictures that Kobe has. So there you go. There's the articulation for these two. Some really sad news. Just when I finished filming parts of this video, Video last night after a couple of minutes I just found out that Sir Robin Nya passed away he is now with our creator he's very well known in the NBA cards community not just here in the Philippines he is also well known in the international stage this is a rude awakening that you know pandemic is no joke in a week's time two of our brothers here in the community passed away one of our brothers and also fellow collector I think he's still in the ICU hopefully he does recover man these are really tough times my deepest condolences and says to their family so, sir Jaynor and sir robinia may you guys rest in paradise and for us please 
let's be extra careful it's really scary to go out if it's not that important it's not worth taking the risk i dedicate this video to our fallen brothers here in the nba cards community this is for you let this also be a lesson learned for all of us for you guys watching please be safe all the time especially nowadays with all the rising cases of covid19 i don't know it's crazy it's insane